From the bay we were anchored in, there's a nice little river that connects to Ensenada Honda. Just on the other side of the drawbridge, we found a cute little restaurant called the Dingy Dock. It's a well-known cruiser's hangout with their fast Wi-Fi, good food, cheap water, and you can tie your dinghy right beside your table. Hence the name. Culebra is a small island 27 kilometers east from Puerto Rico. There's about 2,000 people living in its capital, Dewey. But of course, that number varies depending on how many tourists happen to be in town that day. We just hiked up the top of the hill onto what looks like a big water reservoir, I guess. In this relatively small town, there is a relatively small grocery store with relatively small carts. I found the cutest little cart. We need like two of these. But it had everything we needed. And since it was the most affordable store that we would encounter for a while, we decided to stock up and got about three weeks worth of food. Now we know why the carts are so small. I <laughs> bet. They even let me use the back door instead of walking all the way back to the dinghy dock with heavy boxes. Meanwhile, Dan went back, grabbed Dory to meet up with me at the grocery store dock. Once everything was loaded up, it was a quick row back to Uma. I now left. I now both. Hiya! I now left. Hiya! I now both. Hiya! Woo! <laughs> Alright, get rid of this one. Quick, quick! story we are in Culebra so is Ren Sailing so is Sailing Doodles two other YouTube channels so tonight the three of us are going to meet up on somebody else's boat <laughs> for sundowners awesome ever since it crossed the Atlantic we've been in touch with Marlin and Johan from Ren Sailing once they reached the Caribbean their plan was to head northwest to Puerto Rico, and we were going southeast to Grenada. As we each got closer and closer, we kept in touch and both ended up here in Culebra at the same time. After hanging out for a bit, we got all invited by Jim, this guy, who bumped into us all separately that same day and invited all of us for sundowners on his boat. Cinco de Mayo! We're the only boat celebrating Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> we have Ted and Kyle. Whoop, whoop. We have the Ren Sailing crew. Oh. The Doodles crew. Hey, hey. And Thanks Captain so Jim. Thank you so much for Thank having you. us. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> it was nice to be able to hang out with a group of people that get the whole YouTube thing. We all shared sailing stories and YouTube stories as we enjoyed our drinks in a nice sunset. Oh my god, you're not going anywhere anymore. 
This is like a treadmill. Like the morning workout. We're going against like a three knot tidal current. And we're making headway, but barely. barely. I think I just broke the seat. <laughs> The next morning, we rode over to Ensenada Honda to check out Ron. And today we're going on a safari. Yes! <laughs> cool and a, a safari. In a, in a golf cart. In a golf cart. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Awesome. I'm ready! <laughs> it's already the start of a great adventure, right? The outrageous beaches and small-scale tourist industry makes this 25 square miles island a Caribbean treasure for travelers. And since it's such a small island, the four of us decided to check the whole thing out in one day. We walked through town and stopped at the Jeep rental place, but we were way too cool for a Jeep. So we decided instead to grab an awesome golf cart for a day of adventures. I also feel like at some point finding a place to get a drink would be good. Yeah. All right. You kids ready back there? We are ready. <laughs> are you ready, drivers? We're ready. Oh, we're we got our map and we're going to follow it to the T. Let's do this. This is not a very big island. Our first stop, Flamenco Beach. We came from like somewhere right in here. And we just drove this way. Boop. That was it. <laughs> that was it, that was pretty fast. Yeah. So we can drive summer. back and we can go all the way to here. Exactly. And then we can drive yeah. back and we can go all the way to here and yeah. we can drive back, like it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's check this beach out. It's the most popular beach of Culebra because of its white and soft sand, pretty reefs, and one of the only camping grounds in the area. So we decided it was a perfect spot to do some snorkeling. Didn't linger too long and started our engine and headed for beach number two. Awesome. On the way, we smelled a delicious food truck and had to stop for lunch. Time for some food! This place was amazing. They had an entire menu of all sorts of different burgers. At least 20 different kinds of deliciously juicy burgers. It looks so delicious! I'm having a great burger! That looks so good! <sighs> That's real!
Yeah, I think. Let's go to that way. Just yeah. continue on this road, maybe? Yeah. With full bellies, it was time to keep going to our next stop, Sony Beach on the northeast coast. Yeah, that's the one we're not supposed to Beach number two. Walking on this white sand, it was nice to see that they are also a turtle nesting site. We stopped and relaxed under the only shaded area we could find. But not for long, because the adventure wasn't over yet. We decided to walk down the dirt road instead of taking the golf cart to avoid being stuck midway coming back up. Plus, a bit of a nice exercise after today's lunch was good for all of us. It was crazy to see the difference between the white sandy beach of the north versus the rocky beach of the southwest. And as much as we would love to stick around, we couldn't stay long given that we had to return the golf cart before sunset. So it's my turn to drive. <laughs> Here we go, guys. <laughs> go, Kika, go. You got it, Kika. You got this. Da 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 da. So we just returned the golf cart back at the rental place. It was an amazing day. Now we're going to walk back to town. There's a really cool happy hour going on at Mamacita. And we're gonna meet, I thought that was a stuff. We're gonna meet some of our other friends there. Um, <laughs> Ooh, cheers. <laughs> It's very like deserty. A, the ice cream. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say with all the Kahlua and Baileys and everything else in it and cinnamon. It looks like a milkshake. Yeah, it's a it's a manly milkshake. Milkshake with a kick. I don't know. <laughs> Pretend that's a frappuccino and drink it from Starbucks. Yeah. Oh. Thanks again for following our adventure. You can let us know if you enjoyed it by liking this video and subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss our next step where we sail around some more with Ron. Oh, and we also happened to stumble across a bomb. No, seriously, an unexploded bomb just sitting there. But until then, cheers! Hey guys, today we are announcing the live chat winner for our giveaway. We went through the live comments and selected one of the names and the winner is Bacchus, assuming that's the boat name. So Bacchus or SV Bacchus, make sure you send us a private message and we'll get in touch with you as to how to mail you this lovely little thing, which is a coaster from Foxy's Bar, which is one of the most famous bars in the British Virgin Islands. So we'll make sure to sign it and mail it to you. Uh, if you did miss our live chat, don't worry, we'll have plenty more and we'll give away plenty of more stuff as well. So yeah, until our next live stream, cheers!